It might sound that the small and the large Munster Landers are varieties of the same breed, the opposite is true. Even though they share a lot of similarities, those are two separate breeds. In this video I will tell you all you need to know about the small and the large Munster Lander. According to the official FCA breed standard, both breeds belong to the group of long-haired German pointing dogs. The small Munsterlander's ancestors are skilled falconer's bird's dog. The breeding of this breed has been documented since around 1870 in the German region Munsterland, but it's believed that this dog breed is older than that. On the other hand, the large Munsterlander is basically the same breed as the famous German long-haired pointer. Let's say it is its offshoot and color variety. How is it possible? When the breed standard for the German long hair pointer was developed in 1909, it was that only the liver and white coloration was acceptable. Because of that, the black and white German long hair pointers were not accepted, but they still possessed the great hunting abilities, which is why some people decided to ignore the standard and bred them anyway. It is only logical since those dogs were never bred for appearance, but rather for performance, even though I have to say their appearance is stunning. After a while in 1919 the club for the pure breeding of the black and white Munsterland the pointers was found and took over the breeding process. So as you can see both breeds were developed separately, even though they belong to the same family, German long haired pointing dogs, and indeed they both have long hair, they are both from Germany and they are both great at pointing. But not only that, especially the large Munsterlander is extremely versatile hunter, they are so called HPR gun dogs, which means hunt, point and retriever gun dogs. They can perform all the general duties in the field. The small Munsterlander is more closely specialized and they have excellent close searching and pointing drive. And what about their temperament? They are both extremely intelligent and trainable. They are also very lively and active and have high exercise needs. They also make great family companions with their affectionate, friendly and loyal temperament. Because of their high intelligence, these dogs require plenty of mental stimulation, for example task-oriented playtimes or longer regular training sessions, otherwise they might become very vocal or destructive. It is said that the small Munsterlander is a little bit more independent and stubborn than its larger cousin, but the difference should not be very large. And now let's look at the appearance. The name small and large Munsterlander suggests that there is quite a big difference in their size, right? But actually it is not that big, just look at these numbers. Officially the large Munsterlander should be between 58 to 65 centimeters tall and it should weigh approximately 30 kilograms. On the other hand, the small Munsterlander height is between 50 to 56 centimeters and weight is between 17 to 26 kilograms. Pretty similar, huh? The real difference is in their legs. The large Munsterlander has longer legs and shorter bodies. Length of the body and height at the withers should, as near as possible, be equal. The small Munsterlander length of the body should exceed the height at the withers. But again, the difference is very small and almost impossible to spot if you are not a breeder or big fan of the breed. If we are not talking about the exercise, then this is fairly easy to maintain breed. Their long coat requires regular brushing to keep it in good condition. And you should regularly check their ears, eyes and nails and clip them or clean them when needed. These dogs are also usually very healthy. They can occasionally suffer from hip dysplasia, allergies or ear infections. The average lifespan of large Munsterlander is between 12 to 13 years. The small Munsterlander lifespan is similar, between 12 to 14 years. Tell me in comments what you like the most about the Monsterlander and what is your experience with this dog breed. If you are new on this channel consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check our Instagram, Facebook links are in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.